All right, the Federal Reserve hit the pause button on its key interest rate. The Fed has raised rates 11 times since March of last year, uh, trying to get inflation under control. Yeah, and those hikes have led to some of the highest borrowing costs that we've seen in decades. In fact, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell saying the central bank is prepared to resume rate hikes again in the future. So on your side, Susan Campbell is here now with a look at what this means for everybody. Yeah, there are a lot of pieces and parts to this, right? If you have a credit card, mm -hmm. those rates are probably going to stay pretty similar, or maybe not change right now. Credit cards and other short term loans like adjustable rate mortgages are both directly affected by the Fed's key interest rate, which is the rate banks pay to borrow from each other overnight. The Fed's take on the economy and inflation also has an indirect impact on mortgages. Those 30 year fixed loans are not set by the Fed. They're actually closely tied to the 10 year Treasury yield, which is also impacted by inflation. As you know, rates fluctuate daily. Right now we're at a 22 year high hovering around 7.3% for a 30 year fixed rate mortgage. There's a hyper fixation on mortgage interest rate right now. So when we speak with clients and they're focused on interest rate, I talk about interest rate as the tip of the iceberg. What's below it? And what's below it is a mix of logic and emotion. What's below it is, hey, from the logic side, if you wait another year, yes, interest rates may go down 1%, but home values are probably going to go up by 3 to 5 Despite mortgage rates ticking up slightly last week, the number of mortgage applications went up more than 5%. Refi applications went up too. According to the Mortgage Bankers Association, applications to refinance jumped 13% last week compared to the previous week. And the refinance share of mortgage activity went up to almost 32% of total applications compared to 29% the previous week. So we see a lot of people who are refining right now to get out of other really kind of sticky debt, um, high interest rate debt, credit cards, other stuff, potentially car loans, that sort of stuff. They're tapping into the equity that they've built in their home to pay that off and make it so that their total monthly payment across all debt owed is significantly lower. Other analysts say it's possible that people are worried rates could continue to go up in the short term, so they're just choosing to refi now in case. And when it comes to inventory here in the Valley over the past few weeks, we've actually seen it tick up slightly. Still not enough supply, though, guys, mm -hmm. to match the demand. We're a long way off from matching demand here yeah. in this area. And people continue to uh, move here. These huge companies yep. moving here, so yeah. And when it looks like it does this morning, why not move here, right? Yeah, exactly. I know, right? <laughs> Let's remind them if we don't want more people moving here, what it's like in June, July, I don't know. <laughs> but it's always good for the economy, so there's a plus side to it. Thank you, Susan.